It's digger time and I think I've made a bloody mistake already. I think I've hired a digger that's slightly too big. I asked for a one and a half ton. This is just shy of 1.8. My plan is to do a bit of landscaping, basically. I really needed a micro digger, which is only 800 kilograms. But I just thought maybe if I get a one and a half ton, I'll be able to use that for everything. I still haven't got my gutters on, but I do need to put this gully in here, which means I need to finish that trench there. And that would have just been easier with a micro digger. And I've also got to flatten this off. So the trench is there. That's lower. This is higher. I think it's going to be quite difficult. So the plan was to fill in everything, all the trenches, make it all flat so I can carry on installing the windows, build a platform there to do the gable, get rid of these mounds. And obviously in a mini digger, that's going to be quite easy getting rid of these mounds. But the two complicated bits, I wouldn't say it's complicated, it's just a bit tight. Yesterday I cleaned out all my trenches because there was a load of clay that had collapsed in and a load of flint as well. I shouldn't have that surrounding the actual pipes. I have no idea why I didn't sort that out before. I think I just got fed up with it and just left it and then it all collapsed over the past year. I think it's been a year since I sorted it out. Oh, and before I'd done that, I made a quick plan uh, to show me exactly where I put all my drains and everything just in case I need to find them in the future. And then I shoveled about six tonne of shingle into the wheelbarrow and emptied it into the trenches. So my pipes are fully surrounded. Well, most of them are. That's still exposed there. These are all covered all the through here. This is kind of covered. I'll come back to that in a second. That's covered. That one's covered. The one over here is covered from here. All the way up there is covered. Seeing as this whole area was quite overgrown, I did buy myself a, a steel strimmer the other day. That was only 140 quid. <laughs> this is awesome, by the way. I used that to clear all of the long grass. Otherwise, I'll probably end up dropping the digger down the hole kind of thing. I've got this shingle left. That's probably about five ton maybe so i've ordered 10 ton more that will be coming monday and i'm also getting 10 ton of crushed uh concrete or rubble whatever it's called <laughs> oh i'm not up for this it's too hot i'm going to use the rest of that shingle to cover in the pipes that i've still got exposed around the um water sewage treatment plant and i'll use the rest of the stuff down here and over the other side when it, i get it delivered this one is probably going to be not really edited too well because i don't really know what i'm doing because i need to access that over there <laughs> so i need to get across two trenches which can't unless it's filled in i'm just going to muddle my way through if i just do one bit at a time then hopefully by the time i've done one bit i'll resolve another bit and then i'll just move on um, we'll go from there. So this bit here, I have filled it with a load of gravel, but I mean that pipe's still quite close to the top, just here. I've got loads of cement bags that are really old, so I need to get rid of them as well. So I think I'll stick them down the trenches as well. If you're a self-builder, you're a DIYer, just like me, and you take forever to do stuff, just get it in the plastic bag. I didn't even think to ask for the plastic bags, and then it just sat outside for ages because I was meant to use that to do some retaining walls but i haven't i haven't got around to doing them i've ordered all my shingle and my crush hardcore and now i just need to shuffle all of this about it's pretty bloody difficult i don't know how anyone can do this when it's their site's even smaller
You've been watching this for five minutes and I, I don't think you've given me a thumbs up yet. I'm just reminding you. Hey! <laughs> Right, we're in. But I, I dug it a little bit too deep, this stuff by hand. Just get it underneath there and then I'll do the gravel and then I've got to pull this one. That's not going too well. Um, I've just kind of like had, had this sudden realization. I'm trying to get into that spare inlet into the manhole. I was going to take it to there and then I'm going to have some kind of like silt trap and then my eco drain to go across there because I'll build up this. That'll be, that'll be the lowest point. There's like some kind of like massive foundation under there i don't know what it is i can't get through it anyway uh there's loads of bricks here i'm assuming some kind of building used to be there why am i trying to dig that out when i've just done that one <laughs> if i was to put another connection on this and then bring it out to here like that's easier isn't it i'll just do that why didn't i just do that in the first place Well, surprisingly well, the diamond bit. Right, that would do. Hey, that'll work. I mean, technically, I shouldn't be doing that. I should have an inspection chamber if it turns more than 30 degrees, but fuck it, that would do. I need to raise this up a little bit more as well. I've put an extra one on. Right, Saturday, and uh. My van's looking a bit squat. Picked up some slabs. These are the chunky mofos. Uh, they are 600 by 900 by 50 and they're uh, 62 kilograms each. So 620 kilograms in the back of the van. I did want some smaller ones, but the bloke that I was meant to be getting them from, he was messing about, he wasn't really getting back to me. And then everywhere else, like, this is marketplace. They go like, you wouldn't believe, especially the free ones. I, I'm sure people sit on Facebook marketplace all day and just get free stuff all the time. I'm gonna put two, maybe three here, and then probably four over the other side. Wait. 
slight change of plan. I'm, I've been figuring out what I want to do with this section over here. I'm just going to show you. So I think I'm going to build this up so it's somewhat level and then I'm going to get five of these and then I'll, I'll chop that corner off there. Put them five that way. I'm going to build a big planter on top of that somehow and that's going to effectively be the base. So that will come up to here roughly and then over there I'm going to do the same. I'm going to come off of there and have a planter and then the bit in between from like there to there is going to slope down. So I need to park that for the minute. It's 25 degrees. It's going to be 29 degrees tomorrow. <laughs> I need to break up that concrete. I'll get my jackhammer out, but I'm not going to do that now. I need, I need to carry on doing what I'm supposed to be doing with the digger. So I'm going to gravel the bits that I need to over here with the rest of the gravel that I've got over there. I'm setting levels on the inspection chambers. That one's higher. I'm not quite sure what to do there just yet. I was gonna do it higher, just that corner bit there and then have gradual steps going up to the door. I might cut that one lower. I'll, I'll make a decision. I need to have a chat with Lou about that. We know that we're having a planter there. We know we're having a big planter there and it slopes down. Now this bit here, we know that that's going to be a patio, so this inspection chamber here needs to be level with that slab. So I need to add onto that. That patio is going to run all the way down here. Over that side, there's going to be steps up onto a deck there. And then from the patio, which will end like here, this will be grass or turf. Uh, in which case we need to raise this whole area up with topsoil, maybe like six inches, once it's obviously scraped flat. Uh, Lou doesn't necessarily like that idea because that means this wall is even lower. <laughs> and she said, why didn't we just build the wall higher? And I said, because we needed planning permission if we'd done it higher, blah, 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 it's just aggro. But this is effectively the lowest part. Um, so I said, should we have this lower and I'll like build like a retaining sleeper wall around here, as in railway sleepers. Um, she didn't like that idea. So I've got to raise these now. Is it like 29, 30 degrees today? <laughs> um, and you know what's in there, don't you? Okay, from memory, I remember this only having two cut marks, so I believe that that's one there and that's one there. So I'm gonna cut this one. And then I think that's how the rubber gasket just goes on. So it'll go on that. And then I assume the green bit will fit inside. That, that was horrible, that was. It was like melting a plastic as I was going and flicking it on me, like hot plastic. Ugh. This took me about 20 minutes to get in here. I'm just about to pull it out. And 
joking. <laughs> oh, it's just bubbling now. Doesn't smell of anything. Hopefully this will go straight in. It's hitting on that pipe, I need to cut a little bit out. <laughs> Should have done that in the first place. Okay, I figured it out. I just found a video, lucky enough. It was on a rainwater system, but it's the same kind of thing. This rubber bit needs to fit in there. So rather than do it on there and risk dropping it into the you know what, I'm going to take it off. So I believe it slides in that groove there. Come on. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, don't try this at home, kids. This is a stupid idea. That worked better than I thought it would. That's close enough. Done. See the inspection chamber, so it gets lower as it goes down because it does go that way. Hopefully it'll be all right. I was hoping to just backfill this now, but I just looked at the instructions. It's supposed to be fully surrounded in shingle. Uh, this is a bit low at the moment, so I can't fill it up with this that's what I was hoping to get rid of I've still got 10 ton coming tomorrow I've got this so I'm going to scrape this together and hopefully that'll be enough just to get it to a point where I'm comfortable with it Last one. Whew. Surely that will hold it, yeah? <laughs> Just imagine if it ends up popping out the grounds. I mean, it's been in for how long? Two years? So it hasn't come out yet. It, and if anything, it's just I've just put a load more weight on top. Well, I've got rid of all that. So that's where the pea shingles going tomorrow. I've got the crushed rubble as well. So I think I better get rid of this. But in order to get rid of this, I need a dumper really. So 
This is what happened the other day. Um, I haven't started this for like over a year. It's almost got reclaimed by nature. Are we ready? No. <laughs> Go on, boy! That's right, it's a trooper! I love this thing, so bloody awesome. I mean, it's a bit hard to handle and you haven't really got much control over dumping, but... We're having a late start today. I'm gonna to take it easy. Oh, well, I might do, I don't know. It's three o'clock. I remember now why I didn't finish this before. It's just because it's snackering. Um, I cleared all this last night. Lou went, oh, it's amazing. There's so much space now. And I said, don't get ahead of yourself. I'll have two more big piles there tomorrow. We're gonna to start tackling this today. Well, yeah, start at least. I'm not gonna finish it. I've had a plan that I might just stick with this. If I pull them tracks in, it's a meter wide. That means I could just get it on this raised bit here. If I get down here and then I can just spread it out, but I can't swing the cab, I'll have to do the boom. And I was planning on finishing the ground level here. This extra block went in because they didn't ask me, they just assumed I was going to make it higher. But I think just for this side of the house, I will make it higher and it will come up to there. And then it's 150 to the damp course, which means that obviously this needs to all be filled in, build up the levels. Yeah, it's more aggro, but it's less. And doing it like that means this wall is a little bit too low. That's one of the big issues that Lou's got. She says that we shouldn't have built it because it should have been higher because we're raising everything up so much. Obviously this wall doesn't work out as being as high as it should have been, if you understand. I don't know why Lou says about the height of the wall because she's shorter than me anyway. <laughs> she can't see over. <laughs> On this side, uh, I think I'm gonna have to render that bit because that's gonna be exposed. And then this is where I'm gonna step it up. So this inspection chamber, I'm gonna leave that at that height. I think that might be all right. And then I'll have to step from here with like a, maybe like a trellis thing. Put some, uh, what's the purple growing stuff with nice flowers. Um, I'm gonna to have to raise that. Here's my clean out on my French drain. I need to raise that ever so slightly. I need to raise these as well that one there's another clean out down there and that okay i've set my levels on all of my chambers on all of my clean out points rodding points from the french drain and the gullies as well i noticed that the 
blocks at the bottom of the piers, they, well, I didn't particularly like them because they were squared off. So I've rounded them off as well. I used a reciprocating saw for that. And there was a bit of pointing that needed doing as well where the scaffold poles were in the wall, basically. So now I think what I'm gonna do is just gravel for the rest of the evening. I do like two or three hours because round the other side, the pipe's still exposed. Uh, that's the soil pipe. Next to it is the French drain and my uh, rainwater pipe. That's well exposed. So I need to bury all of that in gravel and then we'll see where we are tomorrow. I might day five. I'm, I'm aching, but you know, it's one of them nice aches where you just, I could just go to sleep. You know, the nice. Uh, right, I've got, I've done that bit down there. I'm just going to chop this and then I'm going to fill round here. That's next on the agenda. And then I'm going to do the other side because we've got today and the rest of today, tomorrow and the next day. So today's Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and then we've got the dig going back. Hopefully I'll finish by then. The main task today is going to be over the other side and fingers crossed I don't end up uh, dropping the digger the digger doesn't fall over and crash into the building <laughs> oh no right let's go right so I'm starting this side uh, this is a couple of hours late I was messing about with my 360 cam trying to get a shot but it, it didn't work my rainwater pipe there, there's a gully, it connects up to this one. And then modeled by me yesterday, you can see the top of it just down here. That actually drops into my land drain right down here. So this is exactly where it drops into the land drain below. So it's quite close to the surface. So what I wanna do is just protect this with the slabs. So first of all, I'm gonna take this corner off and drop that into there then I can put the slab all the way across. I'll have one there, one there, maybe three. Let me see how we get on. danger time all I need to do is get this flat enough so I can get my dumper down so I just need to edge down there and just go like that I can't turn the cab because I lit the wall I'm going to turn the revs down so I don't smack the bucket against the wall uh, I just need to boom it to do it uh, so I think I best pull the tracks in put my seatbelt on and then I'll see you. Down the end. Hopefully not fall into the wall.
that went surprisingly well. I'm glad I've got the, well, I had that one, the bigger digger, because this was proper solid round here. There's so many big rocks and bricks and broken stuff everywhere. <clears throat> it was hard to dig through this. So if I would have had the little digger, that would have taken me ages to get through this. But um, yeah, now I need to kind of like level it off. Uh, so I might put the grading bucket back on. I had to use the big bucket with the teeth to like claw it. But first of all, I'm going to use the rake and just spread it into the edge there. And then uh, I have to check the levels to see from the wall across there whether this is too high. I think I've got a little bit too much over that side, but not enough down here. Oh, I'm still tired. I don't really want to do this. <laughs> um, yeah, I think once this is leveled, I've got geotextile membrane I can put down. Then I can put the crushed rubble down. And then at some point, uh, my neighbor's got a whack plate. So hopefully I can borrow that. Check it out, look how bloody flat that is. I've got skills, they're multiplying. Just think, I have never driven a digger before I bought this place. So I'm pretty bloody good. <laughs> I'm gonna dump that in here now and then just clear that because we've got one more day of the digger. So I just wanna get that sorted and then I'll probably dump that round the side and then I've got to finish this quickly and then I can ring him up and say come and get a digger right lads it's been raining this morning so not only has that delayed me everything's bloody muddy now and so that would be ideal for this membrane not okay for this area to do it 70 mil thick in MOT type one, which is what I need really, uh, I need seven tons, but that's crushed rubble. I don't really want that coming through the gravel. Uh, right, so there's 10 ton there. My bucket on my dumper holds a ton, but is that, but volumetric, just, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll do small buckets because I don't want to sink or rut up the um, other side around there in the mud too much. So if I do three quarters of a bucket, as in on my dumper, split it between six bays, then that's four and a half ton over there. And then I'll still have more to do that little bit there and put some down the side here. Does that make sense? I can only just do it once. I'm just going to pile it and then leave it uh, and then I'll spread it out another day. Or am I doing that thing again where I just start a job and then just don't finish it? <laughs> Maybe I'll do that tomorrow and then, yeah, I'm having the weekend off. But hopefully I'll be able to let the digger go tomorrow. I'm going to phone them later. That's, that's the plan. I've got a, couple, a few more hours. Ring them just before they close and say, come and pick it up tomorrow.
That was an absolute pain in the ass. I mean, it's bright sunny. Why did it have to rain this morning? Of course, what's happened is I haven't got gutters on. Where do you think it went? And then where do you think I went with a dumper? I was trying to dump this like centralised on the first one, but my wheels just went there and then I sunk. <laughs> I got stuck. Well, I didn't get stuck. I, I could still get it out, but I mean, this is like soft, like you wouldn't believe. So I've done more. There's eight there. So that's probably about six tonne. And what happened was, because I sunk it there, it pulled the membrane and then pulled off that inspection chamber top, like the top section, just come flying out. <laughs> so everything's moved this way. Uh, I'm hopeful. I think what I better do, I better spread it now. I might as well just chuck that across, because if I need to put a little bit more down here, then I can do it whilst I can. Mm. What an absolute pain in the ass. Okay, we're done. I think that's, that's spread enough. It will do for now. Uh, until I come back and do this properly. Uh, I need the crushed limestone and then I'll gravel it on top. I'm not going to compact it just yet. Because I really need to get them gutters on. And before I get the gutters on, I need to sort out these bodge bits. Uh, See that needs filling and everything and I need a like a timber fillet between the uh, soffit and the brickwork because there's a gap. You can see where the twigs are coming out from where the birds try to nest inside. So yeah I need to do that and then paint it again. And a top tip, uh, I just rung the hire place to say I'm done with the digger, do they want to pick it up tomorrow? I called them like five to five and they said all right, yeah, okay, no worries. We probably won't be able to pick it up tomorrow because we've got a lot of collections, but we'll let you know either which way. So that might mean that I've got the digger at least until Saturday. Well, let's go Friday afternoon or Saturday or Monday. So I might get it for free for another like three or four days. <laughs> so I've got that four-ish tons left. I can pop some of it here and then some of it down the edge there. I think this is the next area that I'm going to concentrate on before I do that. So I need to cut down here, chip that off, and then level all this up so I can put them paving stones across here. And then as soon as I've done that, I can level that. I'll sort that. I'll do the last bit and then I'll just spend either late this evening or tomorrow I'll grade all of that just so it's flat and you don't trip over anything. to them having an argument they're always around here um, right I was out here to half ten last night maybe a little bit later uh, it's eight o'clock in the bloody morning I've lined that I dug that out a little bit because there was saw on the edge I'm gonna uh, can't function <laughs> <laughs> this crush rubble We'll go a little bit over there, a little bit down there, and then I'll use the remaining gravel to do that bit. Um, I've done my base for my planter there. Um, and then after that, 
I just need to sort it out this. I'll be doing that edge bit by hand and then I'm gonna flatten this better. Um, before they pick the digger up, I, rec I reckon that'd be all right. <clears throat> um, I don't, I don't reckon they're gonna pick it up today, but right. And then all this will be tidy, and then I'll, I'll probably end up going back to bed in the afternoon. <laughs> I'll see you at the end. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I stopped at one o'clock. I done five hours straight, non-stop. They can take the digger now. I don't need it anymore. I've done 24 hours on the digger. I've done nine or 10 days worth of work. 20 tonnes of shingle. I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> 10 tonne of uh, crushed rubble. Eight lollies. I'm exhausted. So this here, uh, this is gonna be like a Japanese garden. So I need, uh, I'm gonna get some crushed limestone. I'm gonna compact this first, then I'm gonna get crushed limestone on top, like whitey kind of color. And then I'll get normal limestone, maybe like six or 10 mil to go over the top and then you know, like little bushes. Lou's supposed to be designing this. So I gave her that job, but she can't be bothered. She's not interested. I'll end up doing it when I, uh, I need to have some kind of step down from there. I'm not quite sure what to do that of. Maybe um, railway sleepers. Uh, these, these covers, I might uh, bench them in. Uh, same with the uh, the gullies as well. Oh, I didn't flatten that. Oh. <laughs> I'll kick that in a minute. This is pretty much flat. I just got it. It's just tidier, uh, just so we're not not tripping up or anything. This is going to be long. I'm going to plant a big acer tree there, an emperor one which should get as tall as that big one just there. So the, the rest of this will be long. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. The patio is going to go all the way across there and sweep around that bit. I'll, and then here, I've done a raised area because I need to get uh, the bandstands you see them there he's put the bandstands there and then i can put planks across and that'll help us get the uh, bifolds in i say us whoever's going to help me and then i should be able to put some boards down and get the uh, gable window up like get me scaffold on so yeah i what i i just like made a raised area and put the fabric across and then the leftover crushed concrete. So that'll be stable enough to, for me to do what I need to do. And then in the future, this will be a deck. But I need to put a base down. So maybe I'll do something similar to this and put a concrete pad across. Maybe, I don't know. Have you got any ideas? Um, yeah, so I've already said there's gonna be a plant there that's going to be a planter so I'm gonna it's gonna be about 500 mil high so I'll lay some blocks flat maybe two and then I'll do the other blocks that I'll render that as well and then just here I'm gonna build like a, an oak thing <laughs> similar to that <laughs> with a nice little tiled roof uh, I'll put a picture up if I can find one uh, so yeah and then i've got to concrete this properly but I, I spread the shingle out just so it's a bit nicer and then there'll be a drain coming across there and i'll put one across there as well and then for this bit uh, i've left that corner out so i can build the planter 
but this is just so, so I can get across it but this whole area is going to be raised up as well so I'll do like another patio type thing there with steps going up to the main door there um, and then that's all filled in that's all nice Uh, and then around here, because the concrete's too high for the damp course, I did pecker all this out so I could remove it, but then I wasn't going to bother because I was going to put the ACO drains around the edge. And then the building inspector said that the warranty bloke probably won't like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tidy up this edge there and then you get these big metal grates and I'm just gonna put them across there and bolt them to the wall. So, and this, so it'll be like a little drop there underneath, like a platform. The, the grates are like the platforms, the metal platforms that you normally get on, yeah? I'll do the same here. And then I need to build a pretend ramp to go into there for wheelchairs. You, you like my uh, rambling. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got to move that ace tree somewhere now. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'll, yeah, I'm, I need to move it out of the way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go and get some beer. I haven't had any beer. I haven't had a beer for six, seven. A couple of months and have a beer. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.